Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alden. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. We live in a world where people say just about anything that comes to their mind, especially we think of social media. There's not much responsibility. There's not much accountability and people can write what they want. And it doesn't matter how much it hurts other people. I'm just going to say what I feel because after all, it's a free country, right? I think of the words that were spoken to me when I was in first grade by my first grade teacher who I deeply respected. But when she said this, I questioned it and I still question it to this day. It was this statement, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. What? <laughs> friend, you can remember words that were spoken to you by a parent or a friend or an enemy that you'll take with you to your grave. Oh, it's not that you haven't forgiven them. It's not that you haven't let it go, but it still stings. It still hurts. And you can replay it in your mind and it can drive you crazy, right? Hmm. Words matter. And words can build up or they can tear down. Does Jesus talk about that? Listen to Matthew chapter 12, verses 36 and 37. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. Wow. Basically, Jesus takes careless words very seriously, and we should too. I think what Paul said in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, when he said this, let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only that which is profitable for building up, for with that word spoken, it will build up those who listen. Wow. I think of what Paul said also in, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, whatever is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, and of good report, let your mind think about those things. But do you know what else I say to that? Whatever is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, and of good report, let your mouth say those things, right? So we've got to be careful. Think about the words you said to people yesterday. Did it build up or did it tear down? Did it encourage or did it put down? Hmm. We really need to be careful according to what Jesus says by what comes out of our mouth. Now let's take this apart. I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. Well, okay, I've spoken a lot of careless words down through the years, so have you. Does that mean I'm gonna be standing in front of Jesus for a day and a half having to give account for every careless word I've spoken? Now listen to me closely, folks. This word applies, now this is my opinion, this is my interpretation, and I looked up four or five different commentaries and they all say a different thing, right? If we are covered by the blood of Christ and our sins are forgiven, then there's not gonna be any accountability needing to be given on judgment day for our careless words, why? Because they've been washed away by the blood of the lamb, right? And so we're robed in the righteousness of Christ on that day and all our past sins, no, no matter what they are, no matter what we've done, have been forgiven. They're gone. We're in the past. We're connected to Jesus. We're declared righteous in the sight of God. We're justified in the sight of God and all our sins, careless words, have been redeemed by Christ's precious blood on the cross. But listen to what verse 37 says, for by your words, you'll be justified, and by your words, you'll be condemned. Well, what confession do we make when Christ comes back? You're the Lord and Savior of all. You're the one who redeemed me through your precious blood. You're the one who saved me by your triumphant resurrection. And I have confessed your name during my life so that when it's time for me to go home or when it's time for you, Lord Jesus, to come back, I'm robed in the righteousness of Christ. I'm declared innocent in the sight of God. My careless words are forgiven. I confess your name, Jesus, and I'm saved. But listen to this. By your words, you'll be justified and by your words, you'll be condemned. If people have, through their words, condemned the name of Christ, not received Jesus as Savior, not confessed his saving name, but rather said blasphemous words about who Christ is. 
<laughs> and said, he's not the son of God. He's not the savior of the world. Well, guess what? Their careless words will stand before God on judgment day, and they will have to give an account for every careless word, especially a careless word spoken about Jesus that they didn't believe in him, right? This is what Romans chapter 10 says. If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For with our mouth, we confess and are saved. And with our hearts, we believe and are justified. Wow. There it says quite clearly that when we confess the name of Jesus, we're saved. If you don't confess the name of Jesus, and that's the most careless words you could ever say by saying, I don't believe in Christ your words will stand before God on judgment day. Now, that's my interpretation. And again, you can look up commentaries and people say all kinds of different things about what this means today, but that's my interpretation based on my study of the word of God. Bottom line of this devotion today is be careful what you say to other people. God is watching. I think of that that little song, oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Words matter. And words can either build up or they can tear down. So let's use our words to see the best in others, to build one another up until the Lord comes back to take us home. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.